Welcome back to the channel. Engineer Hall here back with another video. Today, we're going to take a look at the recent release of 53 foot containers that Athic came out with under their ready to roll line. The, what I have today here is four packs of three containers. All right. First one up right here is the EMP 53 foot jumbo container three pack. Right here. Also, snag the UPS one here. This is a pretty neat. Now for today's uh, demonstration, I'm gonna use one from the UPS and another from the EMP. Both of them are very different numbers on every container. So let's take a look at what we got here. Also, that rail car right there is a Walther's Mainline HO scale rail car single. All right, look good, don't it? But here we go. Let's call this the uh, B in the car because it's the business section of the car. Got most of all the graphics and uh, details on there. Now, as you can see, it's going from top to the bottom. The UPS container is the white. You can clearly see that the reporting marks are crisp. The the warning labels is uh let's see let's see right there is somewhat legible there, and also it has a, a placard. And you see the black the black line going around to uh around the container that's considered a seal to try to keep it waterproof, and that's represent. Represented pretty good in my opinion. Uh, it's not nothing bleeding. Everything's uh crisp. Even you got detail for the door hinge. That's amazing. How small that door hinge is, and it got it painted, and uh, looks looks great. All right, let's go down to the um, EMP one now. This got more um, decals on here, but it had the same thing as before. It has the separately applied um, uh, door latches. And uh, rods, you see the one to the uh, left, it popped out, and there's no receptive plus. So, I gotta work on that, get that back in there. Um, as far as the, the decals, uh, you see the MP, you got the reporting marks, you got the Warner Hop Q53 foot, which is all legible. Um, off to the right, and eh, the, the little small print is not blurry, but you really can, you can make some of the stuff out. And uh, down to the bottom of the car, I got the DOT uh, stripe in there. And let's say, yep, DOT stripe in there, and it's cool. Uh, I like the, the fact that if you go up to the top of the um, EMP one, you can see the black and uh, gray uh, stripe in there and stuff. Pretty neat. Uh, I see the containers all the time uh, working for Norfolk Southern and uh, Marsville. Or you can see in the 25T to 20Qs uh, going from Marsville to Chicago. Well, at Harrisburg, then they get broken up. They get split up to different uh, places. But pretty much you go out to Chicago. But anyway, start rambling on. All right, let's uh, swing this bad boy to the side. All right, here's the size of the car. Down. This is road name. Pacific, because that you see on the UPS, it's just had the reporting marks and the um the cones was painted blue. Cone area is painted blue. You sit the uh, the cones in to keep the chainers to, uh, together. Um, the placards in the middle. That what you see on the bottom on the EMP one, it got more writing on it. It can tell you it's a warning high cube. You can see it. I can look through the camera and I can see right on right at the model. It's uh, definitely legible and it goes all around the quarter gauges of the um well of the steel or of the model. You can see that. Um also you see the plaque is off to the left hand side up there near the reported marks, which is prototypical and I've seen that before, which is great. I'm glad that manufacturers make railroad Pacific things and this is a this is a great study everything be in the same place all right so moving on here to the a in the car now this end really doesn't have anything except for you know the reporter marks the placard 
It doesn't have no tech board because they go for uh, rail cars. But somebody said somebody had tech boards, but it, it doesn't. But anyway, you can see the detail in here. It's great. Detail The decals are uh, awesome. Uh, really not much to the top of the container. I don't break apart. Really not much. It's the same thing. Uh, just blue. <laughs> and we put our marks on top. And here's the EMP one. No folks out in the EMP, I should say. Um, nothing. Just we put our marks on top. Let's see how to fix inside this uh, wall car. Which it slides in great. No, really no movement inside the wall car. Let's see. Let's stick this on top. Line the line it up. Let the cones sit inside of the little holes. But you gotta be careful because you can bend and break those little uh pieces of plastic walls representing the cones. Then you know. You just you gotta figure a way to keep them together while them slide around. But you know what? You can use magnets to keep them together. So that's a, one idea you can use. So we'll just swing it around one more again. Get a Vanna White on. Take a look at the detail. Yep. Let's look good to me. What you guys think? And this uh, Walter's mainline car it looks uh, looks very great, very good. It doesn't have all the detail as you know the other ones, other well cars that's out there. But by handling the car, it's uh, out my pen is very uh, sturdy. Only thing we have issues with is the stirrups and the um, the the end grab bars here. But you know you got to be careful. But as far as the um, the decals go spot on it looks great there's really nothing i can negative i can say about the uh the car and it's good for this price point so you can build your in a motor train at a reasonable price probably about 23 to 24 dollars per car but remember if you look online the price that you see online is not always the case that's the msrp price at um brick and mortar hobby shops or even online hobby shops to give a, a discount so don't be afraid to um, you no know, go look out look out and look for a, a, a good price. If you're not near a hobby shop, I admit you have to pay a little bit more um, because that you gotta get it shipped to you. But if you spend a hundred dollars or more at Yankee Dabbler, they will send you out um, your, your product for free, free shipping. Spend hundred dollars free shipping. Can't beat that. If you don't have a hobby shop near you. So, that's what I got for you today. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. I'll see you on the flip side.